manager remember that uh, we have to go and rest so we are not going to take much of our time uh, we are very happy that she has uh, given us this go ahead to do this for her and she's here of course with her beautiful sister uh, welcome very much so first step is for us to do a little prayer uh, so we want to start off quickly, so we do a quick prayer. So the Bible says, whatever is committed to the hand of God, it says, also, I will be going to commit this carry to the hands of God. And uh, to do that, we're going to call Professor Ken Wake. So do the opening prayer for us. That's how you can pray. Not if you can It's cool. That's the power. God and our Father, we thank you for bringing us together. Let's wait. Our day manager. Our Heavenly Father. All the At the end of this ceremony, we are all glad to God and our Father, bring her before you, cover her with the blood of Jesus. We that as you believe in us, not the pattern of us in reality, but God, wherever she may be, God will guide and protect her, bless her. 
Bless our family. Give her a very fond of me in the name of Jesus. We are also being left behind by her. Lord, we pray for your blessing. We pray that give us all it takes to be able to sustain all that we have done for this opportunity in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Even as we cover all that we receive and drink, Lord of Jesus. As we, have, as we eat, let us eat and drink to your own glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. So, thank you very much. Also working in alignment with them. Um, because uh, we don't want that, that, that want to start up and with that as well, we are moving on and uh, to take us further, we are going to do the open remarks. Uh, by our new manager, uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Imar Aim. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Ma, you know, before before you left here yeah, and went to Mena, we used to call you a guy, Ma. Yes. <laughs> All right, welcome, sir. So I was not trying to say we are uh, uh, back. We just <laughs> want to go into the match, and Ma uh, is going to lead us in that. I want to say that you know before Mr. Man left for Mina, call him a guy, man. Mina, that's my guess. I know. So he's a lot of guys. Now that he's back, we need to be clear. But I will call him Sheikh Iman, Sheikh Iman. Or he's a lot of man. So like Sheikh Umi, we need to be clear. Please, hope you're back. Thank you very much, Larry. It's amazing to see all of you again. And uh, the same time stood still, eh? No change. It's for me now, charity. I, all of you exactly I like you were. I left you before. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very, um, it's an honor and a privilege, you know, for us to be gathered here to, to send forth our very own best. Gloria Aldo. Gloria means so many things to different people. You know, she's a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a leader. A leader that you know will always have your back. You know, and we're really, really happy that we had the privilege to spend time and space with Gloria in this team. <laughs> So I think it's a uh, fitting for us to honor her as she uh, begins a new phase in her life. All of us here have experienced her close up. And I think the only thing I can say for Madam Gloria is that with her, you know where you stand. She's authentic. When, when I saw the
Uh, she's a mother of two beautiful girls that she's very fond of. And uh, as we go along, we will see the uh, doses permit us projection of her at home. Uh, she also attended the prestigious ABT AT University, which is a University. To tell you that she has lived in the north too. And uh, don't be surprised, she, she has some capacity in our salon, uh, to some extent, anyways. Pastor Gloria has a, uh, a PhD degree from the uh, Paris Business School. I think we should just put our hands on <laughs> Beyond that, we have some certifications in banking, as well as uh, a postgraduate uh, certificate in cross-sector uh, partnership from uh, the University of Cambridge. Uh, with that alone, you will know that Pastor Gloria is uh, well-traveled. Around Nigeria, she's well-traveled. Outside Nigeria, she's well-traveled. What can experience Pastor G as uh, Dr. Fash, the inventor of Pastor G. <laughs> Glory. Glory. <laughs> but uh, work experience from 1985 to 1995, Pastor G joined the uh, Bank of Agriculture as an investment and loans officer, uh, where she eventually left the place as a senior assistant manager of operations. You can see that she, wherever she touches down on pretty much, and definitely she lives differently. Uh, between 1996 and 2001, Pastor Gura was business advisor three uh, in Techno South Nigeria in Lagos. Uh, Techno South is uh, a non-profit organization that's invested in bringing people out of poverty and creating a sustainable opportunity for them to live a good life and have a good uh, livelihood. As a girl served in that space where she created uh, various programs uh, to help us uh, poor come out of poverty. Going forward, in as a girl joined chair as a micro credit and business development specialist. You can see where she's coming from. And she also left that place differently as a strategy and uh, planning uh, uh, manager, exactly, in the, in the default SDCL. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, but we're a lot. She was group uh, social investment and local content advisor in Shell International Exploration and Production, uh, BB. That's in the Hague. Uh, for those of us that don't know where Hague is, it's in the Netherlands, <laughs> <laughs> European country. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where <laughs> uh, All right, but wait a minute. From uh, 2013 to 2015, she was also uh, in the Netherlands as a social performance lead in Tech Global Solutions International, where she had uh, helped in developing a lot of programs that shaped the organization over there. And of course, from 2015, June 2015 to today. She has been social performance, social investment manager, and uh, in the new reshaped corporate <laughs> relations. <laughs> All right, that is a great one, and you can see the work experience is heavy, and you can also tell me from where she's been coming from, developing all her life. She's been developing programs, developing programs that will use to run activities for people to benefit. Okay. Let's go to our legacy in share. This is interesting, uh, but uh, time and chance or space will not allow us to list it very well. Uh, so we have a just quick top ones. Uh, 
I've just started off from uh, between in 2002, uh, Pastor Gloria developed and launched the first company sponsored micro credit scheme in the Niger Delta. Applause, please. Applause. <laughs> A lot of persons in the Niger Delta have benefited from that program. In 2003, Pastor Gloria developed and led the launching of the Life Wire program in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> now, some of us, if we think critically, we understand what that program means. How Shell has been supporting young persons, start their own businesses, and also build their own businesses to employ a critical mass, critical mass of other young Nigerians uh, to give them that opportunity to have uh, an income and source of uh, livelihood. All credit to uh, Pastor Gloria Pist. Uh, yeah. Also, in 2006, Pastor G led the study to develop and pilot the community based global memorandum of understanding and interface management and social investment model in 2006. And after, after. <laughs> The interface model is what Shell has been using to date to manage a social investment portfolio in communities across Niger Delta. Although there are some issues around, however, we see a very good framework, and currently audits are ongoing to see how we can manage that. Also, in 2012. Pastor Gloria, who authored the Share Group Local Content Toolkit and piloted assessment and rollout in six, six countries. And that was her baby that she also co authored. Let's clap for her. Don't, don't get tired. <laughs> we are not in touch, but remember, we are not in between 2014 and 2015, she also led the design and first rollout of the monitoring and evaluation course for share group. That is what we call MRE. A lot of us here have benefited from that program. We have done the training and that program is still on. So going forward, we should all know that somebody in the room and who is leaving us is the architect of that training program. In, in, in 2013, she also redesigned and launched the Global Livewire Youth Entrepreneurship Program. This is the version two, and managed the deployment of that program across 15 countries. 15 countries. 15 countries. <laughs> this is very heavy compared to some of the ones like Mohammed at the <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. In 2016, please don't go where I like my bed. In 2016, she led social investment strategy refresh for deep water operations. So take note of that. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Um, between 2018 and 2020, because of her commitment and emotions for people, Pastor Gloria developed and led the implementation of company of company and staff supported humanitarian support for flood disasters, of course, and COVID-19, working with civil society groups in the country. <laughs> that program was intense, and a lot of work went into a framework, and she developed the framework, governance, and that was hectic on her at that time. But uh, 
the grace of God is always available for her and gave her the strength to go through. In 2019 also, she developed the BMO model and then its deployment to deliver the Northeast IDP Humanitarian Response Program. The IDP program is a huge program and requires brain work to develop the strategy, the governance, and how to do the decision. But Gloria has done that. And of course, uh, Anika is not here. Uh, she has always been there with her. And always... <laughs> yeah. All right. So, We have just stated top 11 of this. I want to bring it to the core here. Our GM is here. Dr. Gloria Tripoli has been from the beginning the architect of what is called community, community interdependent electrification uh, projects. And what's a uh, our GM likes to call Light of the Niger Delta. <laughs> <laughs> that program was really tough with a lot of work that Pastor Gloria did in operation with the GM and many other persons. And we hope that one day that will come to limelight and the Niger Delta will be lighted up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, beyond that, I'll move to another direction where Pastor Gloria has legacies, and this is in the spiritual realm. Uh, Pastor Gloria's legacy, this is Pastor Gloria's legacy in NHBC, which we call New Heaven Baptist Church. In 2015 to date, Pastor Gloria a pastor and teacher of the word of God, not word of man, word of God. <laughs> and, uh, a lot of people have been benefited, although we are looking at it from the space of the energy, it's office space. I that speak, I'm a beneficiary of the word. Okay. <laughs> okay. Between 2015 to 2018. Pastor Gloria has been a prayer director, a bashi, leading the sport into the holy realm of prayer. I want to assure you that successes that we've had in our work, uh, SBS Space has been hard work in the dimension of prayer. Ask and, it uh, to me. Yes. No, I want, I want to measure how much uh, input oh, we have to uh, uh, pray and ask it. Yes, we'll do it in this <laughs> And then, uh, keep the eyes. Just like, uh, I, uh, as uh, you show us from the uh, beginning somewhere, uh, when Jim is uh, away, uh, we and uh, our Pastor G, we act on his behalf. I want to tell you that when you try to pray, I am buying some buses. <laughs> So that those little foolish people will not come. I'm blocked the gate. And all those physically challenged people will not come to barricade the We pray, I pray sometimes. And that God has been awesome to answer our prayers. When she is acting, it's always smooth. When Jeremy is back. When Jeremy is back, the whole 
Wahala people come around. <laughs> okay, from 2019 to 2020. Yeah. <laughs> from 2019. That is possible. Okay, from 2019 to 2020. Has been a team leader, leadership, training. Huh? And capacity building in New Heaven Baptist Church. She started the business summit in 2019. And in that business summit, over over 300 attendees and participated in that program to date. 24 persons have been trained in entrepreneurship program led by Pastor G in New Heaven Baptist Church. 20 entrepreneurs have been enabled with grants as at end 2020. As the team lead for the leadership, training and capacity building program of the New Heaven Baptist Church, Pastor G started the scholarship program. Of course, 12 persons benefited from that for university and secondary school scholarship. No, no, also good for career. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that while Pastor G was building framework for scholarship in the in skin, he was also building framework in the new Baptist, New Heaven Baptist Church. And of course, young persons have benefited from this and they have opportunity to stay and have access to it. Okay. Okay, ministry. This is also ministry, but we continue there. Pastor G was born into a Methodist family. Just like me, and the method of the And now, now, over time, we move to different places. Speaking for me, Pastor G gave our life to Christ on February 13th, 1989. Some of us are taking back our own. <laughs> Some of us are still holding back our own. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, what's your ministry? Children. About 17 years ago, a peculiar redemption competition in New York. She holds a certificate in Christian theology from Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary, Wake Forest, North Carolina, United States of America. Beyond that, in 2009, Pastor G was associate pastor. Peculiar Redemption Congregation in New York, that's 2004 to 2009. Between 2009 to 2011, she was Deputy Pastor, Power Generation Church for Harcourt. Come to me, I'll show you the address. I'll go there. While in cross posting, Pastor G didn't get to see a ministry or a Christian calling, and she was associate in the American Protestant Church, The Hague, Netherlands. From 2011 to 2015. From May 2015, of course, to date, Pastor Gloria remains a bi vocational pastor in New Heaven Baptist Church for Harcourt. All this, one will wonder how she managed by working on the heavy work and tasks to share and also doing the ministry work. I stand to tell us that once it was time to put church, after work, she said she's heading straight to the church. Sometimes I'll say, why don't you go home and read? Calling is stronger. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's progress. <laughs> Pastor G possible to 
It may not be sharp because of the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It may not be sharp. This is uh, as a GM for the picture speak. What I want to see these pictures. See Pastor G at home. <laughs>
Pastor Gloria is an affiliate of numerous organizations and also she is a volunteer. Many respects. She joined the Maxwell team of international elites, coaches, and speakers in September 2021. She's a member of Institute for Sustainability Leadership, University of Cambridge. And of course, she's a mentor, University of Cambridge alumni support for African entrepreneurs. And that is from 2020 to date. She's a conference speaker on sustainability, leadership, and entrepreneurship. Pastor Gloria is a mentor, women entrepreneurs under Cherry Blair Foundation from 2012. They have been down to 20 Also, Pastor G, as a popular caller, is a certified international and national workshop facilitator. Last but not the least, some of us are familiar with JCI. Yes, you don't know what it means. It's Junior Chambers International. She's a judge. 2021 Junior Chambers International. Top 10 outstanding young persons of Nigeria. Like Apostle Paul said, the Bible will have a chance to tell us to say the numerous affirmations that she is. But let us know that member and a volunteer. Many respects, but she's not paid, paid any cover, but she does this out of her own free will to show and to help humanity. Okay. Hobbies and interests. Jim is aware of this. <laughs> Uh, Pastor Mira is a Jesse Yes, sir. 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 Y
because at that point, Jehovah was more or less like the threatening strong force in the livelihood of the family. What she did was to make sure she sustained that Hallelujah. by bringing in Jehovah's younger sister. Oh, younger sister. Thank you. Yeah. Beyond that, one of us was very ill and sick. It was terrible. It was as sick because I was one child. I was sick. You can see one my here. Pastor G was running here and there. She was calling from the badge. She was assembling doctors to look at. It was not, not just the running at them there. At the point, we needed big money. Just yes. At the point, hand. Bam. 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 Check. Check. I said, we needed big money. Out of our own condition, brought out. And this young man is here. Yes. I like <laughs> I, that speak, have been the kind of teacher of the good <laughs> way. The ones you will tell us. The ones you will tell us. The ones you I've enjoyed walking around her. Being around her is fun. And you learn a lot. The Gloria is free with so much money. Once upon a time, a woman came with a proposal for the volume of something like that. She came from uh, you know, all those big boys in London, you know, about the stairs and so on. When she came, the program was changed. She came to discuss her proposition. My brother thought the project outside down. The woman marveled. When we went as a But in the, in the final analysis, our proposal turned out to be the best. And that is one of the beauty of care. Ordinary children are care. Because there are a lot of goals in this. What are we doing? This round of applause. In the point or in the space of the field here, all the points there are the details of that. So you can find a laptop, you can enjoy that. In the workspace, they have stopped her a lot. She usually has thousands of emails, hundreds of people that come for signing for this for discussion. I want to really be very grateful to God for the energy. Of her. Being a mother to me personally, and uh, Dr. Alice Ache, when looking for her, she would say, Where is your mama? <laughs> say, Larry, where is your mother? <laughs> and that used to be very interesting to me because I grew up not knowing my own mother. Mm. Uh, died when I was just uh, so I really, really spin around the passage. School you except you are not in heaven. Mm. You think otherwise, but this is mm. a woman that cares and a very generous woman. A round of applause. And a round of applause to you. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving up to speed. Uh, now we are going to what I call testimonies of friends and staff. We are going to take, you know, every one of us here. Although we will not be able to go around the because only yeah. uh, we used to hours. <laughs> <laughs> Not to talk of the matter. It's five hours. <laughs> so we just uh, go ahead and uh, lead us first. So we can uh, ask two or three or one of the uh, Our amiable pastor, Dr. Oh, like to call her doctor. I call her pastor. Uh, Dr. So uh, please, uh, the floor is open. Maybe 
After so long, you uh, might the right fit for the shoe. Uh, so you are welcome. Welcome back. Um, the first thing I will ask you, we need to brand this pastor to put a copyright on it. <laughs> because I remember the day I christened you that day. He goes now even calls you that pastor G more than me. So we need to we need to put some copyright on, on Pastor G. But um, Pastor G is a, is a woman of many parts. And um, I say it with all sense of responsibility. She's also a very good woman at heart. Her heart is good. And I've even learned more things today. I thought I knew her so much, you know, but I see she's worked across every spectrum, you know, from biological sciences to the banking industry to socials to sustainability, you know, and then the ministry part. So she's a woman of many parts. And when I was writing on the Kudo board, I was worried because I would have written so much and uh, taken like five pages. Because, you know, initially when I got into Shell and I first heard about Pastor G, the impression is different until you meet her. Yeah. The, the face value is hard, firm. And then when you meet her, her heart, yes, her heart is genuine. And I, I tell you, and she's friendly. We became fast friends. And, you know, people are talking about mentorship. And I've learned so much from her. I had worked a little bit in the academia, I had worked with the WHO, I had done, and I, I thought I knew a lot. And then I came into a new environment. Yes, I'm a medical doctor, I know, but social investment was new to me. But I felt there's nothing I can't go through. But sitting with Pastor G, you know, I think Larry mentioned a few things. You can sit with her for 10 minutes and innovation will come through. Innovation will just come through. And because of that, we've been able to do a lot. I will say I'm one of the greatest benefactors of working with Pastor G. From where, when we, the successful uh, OBO project that we've done today came from our GMOU uh, special purpose vehicle. That was how it came, it was a conversation. Uh, in the Olo Ibrif project, we, we had some form of live wire. And when we were starting that activity, we had gone far. And then we had a conversation with Pastor G. And Pastor G said, have you done a PRA? I write papers a lot, so I thought I know so much. And I said, what's PRA? He said, I have not done a PRA. But the participatory rural appraisal. You know, it's a way when you get um, rural people to appraise themselves and do their own development on their own. You know, and we did a PRA. And it totally transformed what we were doing. And today, that PRA, only doing that PRA, transformed everything we were doing. And it was from her. You know? Let me go away from work a little bit. When I was writing on the Kudo board, I said, Pastor G is indefatigable. She has boundless energy. And for me, I don't, I don't know where she gets that energy from. She, maybe, maybe, maybe I will just recapitulate some, some points on, on that boundless energy. Some years ago, Pastor G, permit me to say, she had a health care. Before that health care, one day I just walked into her office and she was a little bit slower than usual. So I said, Pastor G, there's something wrong. Have you done your blood pressure? Say, Dr. Fat, don't worry. She's kabashed in front of me. I said, Pastor G, no. I, will, I went back to my office, came back, did her blood pressure, and it was, it was not at the roof, it was over the roof. So I said, Pastor G, yeah, get, normally nobody can get Pastor G to get up. I said, Pastor G, I yeah, get up. I, I took her hand and then we walked to the clinic. And she was the first, I said, Dr. Fudge, don't worry, this thing will go away. The first time she pulled down, she did her big room, she followed off, and she, she stuck to it. Then a few years later, then that health care happened. And I was really worried because. A lot of people that have seen go through that health care didn't survive it. And she even lost function of some things. I tell you, I call her Miracle Pastor Gina. I still look at her with a lot of, she came out of that situation stronger than normal. With all things in her, and she will, she will tell me, Dr. Pat, don't worry. I'm scared about this thing. I'm going to regain it. I'm going to stay. But you know, 
He then also strengthened my knowledge of, because I, I believe in medicine a lot. You know, I'm spiritual. My wife sees vision. I see television. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, her recovery, her recovery actually also showed me a lot in the spiritual dimension that you can match medicine and the spiritual, you know, and be consistent in what you do, the service of God. And I'm, I'm happy the person taking over from her is also that uh, anointed uh, human being also. You know, and Pastor G came out in fact, whiter than white, better than, you know, she defied all medical norms. Pastor G, sorry that I'm reporting you like nobody. <laughs> but for me, that was another part of her. And she doesn't play the things of God. Has an excellent heart. We've done work with IGPs together. Um, when we are doing the disaster relief around, around, around the Niger Delta, you could see passion. You, you, know, you may be doing work, but when you now have a passion for what you do, it's a form of self actualization. I see a lot of that from her. You know, Dr. Pat, can we do more? Can we do another one? So once I'm having a meeting with her, I know that she's going to ask for more. So before I get to her, I'm already thinking, okay, what extra? we bring here? Can, can we get the staff to add more money? And then all these things that have become normalized in Shell today, that, you know, offer of assistance, tripling it, it all came from her. It also for me, for me, when, when you are passionate about people, you know, it's like casting your bread on water, you know, it comes back to you, bigger, better, fatter, you know, and I think that's one of the things that she's gaining today. You know, let me also report her on one on one part. <laughs> we we went on a course together. We were in UK together, and one day she said she was going on a shopping spree. So I said, Pastor G, let's go together. So I went with her. Pastor G had her uh, old gold gold with her. I said, Pastor G, where are we going? She said she wants to go and sell all this gold. Her daughter is going to. She needs to fees. She said, Pastor G, you have enough money. No, she she's going to sell all these things. She doesn't need them. And so we went to a shop. I said, all these small small things. When they started pricing the gold, <laughs> then I said, Pastor G, Pastor G, give it to them. Pastor G said, no, they are not pricing it well. This one, we are going to another place. <laughs> anyway, we bought it well in that other place. So when I got home, I called my wife. So you have come. All those things in your house. Open, open your door. Open your door. Let's go and sell some of these things. <laughs> so that was one of the things I learned from Pastor G. Um, I think... Maybe, maybe, maybe this is a good, just a good place to stop. I know so many people are saying so many things. But Pastor G, I mean, as you as you open this new door and this new chapter, I know there are so much that you are yet to do or that, but the Lord will fulfill your heart desires, Amen. you know, and then um, I know that you even do better where you are going to. Um, I pray for you in the name of the Father, in the name Amen. of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, go in glory, excel. In the name of Jesus, thank you.
Those have met her expectations, they have told her a lot of good things to come. But I'm going to start the presentation because it's so long. I teach you coaching. There was what was called for them project. And they were looking for three persons to be able to share. They picked her and she came to them. And we coded the one that we picked. Let's see. Why she picked them? I don't know. But we successfully came. <laughs> <laughs> now again, we have heard about her peer mode and I think no problem. Here we are. But I still cannot tell you what she is. But I'm hopeful for you and all you will learn from her. Because for your own way, you will learn from her projects. Nobody already told you that what she says is what she does. Some of us have quit. What's the opening of heart? Let's go to see that bad feedback. Excellence and success rate for all of us. But she will tell you, in fact, even this one that I just did, just one sentence. I'll say, Cross, I'm coming. I'm the only one there. I'll have to talk about her two titles Professor, Pastor, Doctor, Gloria, Comma. Some of you talk about biology and magic. I put the same thing. You know, but the thing is that when she connects you once, when you pay attention to it, you become a master in that topic that you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody will take it away from you. So, Mama, um, it's unfortunate that some people will go to the Much as we have learned and all that people are willing to share, I'm going to set the table in the same way that we did in the previous ones. There are so many, just so many things to say that cannot be said in an hour, two hours, three hours, three hours of our time. But our prayer is that God will meet you at the point of your need. Okay, let me also tell you that I don't know what you saw in it. I think I was in the first class at Brown University. When she had this course, I was the first person she saw. And she said, Look at Nico now. I'm raising my head up to look at her. Meanwhile, she was in her cradle when we got to the house. Of this step, you can step to find the good things that you have to do. Surprise you, and I don't take it for granted. When she had that first step, and then she was the assistant at the market, she called me and said, I was scared to come. And I ran down. That she wants to be sure they are okay. Why she was still okay. Now I have to be as a And then she stretched her hands and she held you. But you know, what is this process? She said, I'm holding her. I'm also going to be giving words that she's going to be as cold as I am standing. And then it's a doctor, it's a mother, it's a doctor, that they get away at this point. And I'm happy that her pillar of support here took decisions that any men can do, making normal men that don't do. I want to thank you. Because I know the entire story, others may not know. I'm saying thank you. And I'm 
I'm not surprised that you're seated beside that. Because all the things, no, no, from the, the one that I know all of. Your mama, if I've not said it to you, I'm here to say thank you. Thank you so very much. And I know that God is so Was very emotional. <laughs> 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 Thank you for the opportunity and thank you for reminding me. Uh, <laughs> thank you for reminding me to be short. Very beautiful. Because I feel like a summer. So, well, some people in my part of the state don't know where to start. I have to start somewhere. I have to start somewhere. Well, I, I came with you in 2019 as a sabbatical. Yesterday, in my office, uh, adjacent to my own office, directly opposite the Larry's office. I took notice of her more because Larry was uh, always around her, you know, and then Karen come back for the other. <laughs> then, 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 Back. But uh, one day it came to a point where Larry and I were dragging the bags. <laughs> you know, uh, I can't allow you to carry this all this back alone. But I must start from, from this. From yeah, this. Yes. Uh, honestly speaking, uh, when I came, I noticed that um, uh, it was one of those uh, women. I see as uh, no no person, so to say. Yes, but I said to myself, me, what can we get once it goes for it? Yes. So whether you say the no go area, no go person, and all that, that's not for me. But that was an impression. But when something brought me similar to her. You know, it was a different thing altogether. Where I just, I just had to keep the other thing to myself and all that. And um, each time she was in the office, I would go, go close to her and share, especially GMO, because I was interested in GMO. I came in for GMO and all that. And so that speaks. Was a, was a great interest to me, and I needed to learn so much from her, and I learned so much. But I won't uh, take much of your time. Um, one day, something happened, and uh, she told me, say, bro, don't worry, I know what to do. And I was wondering what was going to happen. But what had happened is my standing here today, since uh, 2019. I came like any other person who came for one year, <laughs> but I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still, I'm still here. I'm going to be, uh, uh, be here in 2023. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm opening my eyes. Whether the devil likes it or not, and even beyond. So, all credit to her. I want to say that she's been a mother 
and a source of inspiration. There's one thing I learned from her. One day I thought, because sometimes I go to her house and then we see her something in common and other. And I thought I was uh, a free man in certain aspects. And I shared with her. Say, say bro, for you are also guilty about that. I say, Amma, me too. Am I guilty? He said, yes, you are guilty at the other. It's one person who will tell you the faith, the faith. And I say, ma'am, sorry. She said, look, once and press, it's off her. And that is her. I want to say thank you so much for being there for some of us. The life that we live today is going to have lived not for efforts to be made. There's one thing that we need more. Looking for to reduce the way and order, and you insisted that I should head that team. Even if they are bringing somebody from Netherlands, I should head that team. And I was worried how a small man like me that has no experience, I told very small, and she insisted, and I said, God help me not to disappoint our mother. You have had so much confidence in me. And even when this new role came, I, have, I, I, I said to myself, how will I be able to live up to? Because Prof. Allison was everything in university business. And I saw myself as not being capable of delivering. And then how could I have, I mean, uh, assume that role to satisfy her? And but to God give the glory that uh, I know not much of anywhere I have wrong. But even when she, I said one or two things. I said, my sorry. I said, it was over. <laughs> so, my thank you so much. And my family and I remain eternally grateful to you, wherever you may be. And just know that, uh, like I said, uh, I said, I don't know. And I'm asking that you adopt me. Uh, <laughs> if, if you'll be willing to adopt me, even at uh, 849. <laughs> and I'll be glad to, to do that. So much, so much. Thank you so much. And then uh, I want to say that we'll continue to disturb you wherever you may be. And then we'll drag you, you know, to, to be our pillar, wherever, even when I leave uh, this room. Thank you. And then, uh, thank you very much. For keeping this short, keeping it short. <laughs> I'm very blessed. The life that, the life I live, I live now.
understand it. I thought I had met one of his bosses before this coming to me.
Perhaps we'll see your hand starting with BIA HD3 transactions. Maybe on the other side, I now see you as a consultant working for the government. Who knows? So, on that note, I really want to appreciate you and say thank you. You can also see she's a real family person. They're always together. Anytime they can find an excuse to be together with the sister. Even when they went to do their deed, I saw them. <laughs> So great, so great at the same time. So, that's me. So, that note, thanks for all you brought to us. You're going with our best wishes and deepest respect. Thank you. Okay, you have something to say? You don't have me to say that. <laughs> Are you scared? I will say that. Not again. But let me stay away from the field. I don't know why I'm going to. I'm here. I'm very bad. So, and I wanted to look at my phone. But he has done that. So, let me close that. <laughs> See why I say that. Okay. If I will say anything about my way back that place, that would be all right. Please, thank you. See, Gloria, thank you. I thought it was Gloria, thank you for a while back. When you have to support this, you pay to support small entrepreneurs. But if one person has to put on it, Gloria is a solution to both of My conversion with her don't have it. Don't look very good at her and put me in court. It's a solution. And I'm sure many of you think that, you know, you know, not that she's retarded, it's just it's so we the young ones. Solution. Thank you. I know you are up for new challenges. Tomorrow is new. Getting inspired is one thing I also learned from you. You know, when you have issues, you think that's a problem. But in any line of challenge you have, that's the kind of what inspiration. Get yourself inspired. And Gloria will tell you, ah, see, I'm, I'm done now. From five, I've, I've entered my new dollar part of me. You know? Those are the things, and to do it for the society, it's not for humanity. I may not afford to do that. Those things are not that you know? Please continue to work with passion. The passion you have for work, the same passion you have for family, promotion, you know? So, we, no, oh, okay, this young people now, I thought you wanted to put something in my mouth. Okay, paparazzi. So, I saw some of you talking about Jim had mentioned it. Looking good. It shows how confidence you are. It's not about money. It shows peace of mind how confident you are. And it helps the types of others. No? So, please, I, see, I want to tell you something. You know those bags? That one blue bag, she normally bags, she bags only. Seven pots. Uh huh, you know? <laughs> so, seven pots of money. Yeah. So, so, that bag, uh, you know, we're on the same street, so the day she will have a move. Don't be surprised, that one gets me. You know? So, that's what I'm going to start doing. Do good work. It's well. just confidence. And finally, for me, what is the word here, man? It's one person I know that human being is a human being. I always say this we care among social people. You know, we go to work eight hours, ten hours, and then, you know, not online. But care is a kind of different thing. Care is a lot. No? So please thank you for taking care of us. I'm sure so many people here have their lives. 
continue caring because now yeah, you have enough time. For <laughs> Some of us, GM say, I buy my stuff back. Don't worry. Some of us don't have to be slow. We can find you anywhere. Other from air, from creek. Creek is easier now. So that's our domain. Why are you looking at me like that? So, Pastor G, thank you for being an absolute professional. At this juncture, we want to start with a very fantabulous cake, a cake that shows authenticity, truth, yes. and dynamism, <laughs> transformation, and structuring. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, with all due respect, we would like to invite you to cut this beautiful cake and uh, we call out our leaders. So also step forward to give all that support. Uh, of course, you are also feeling <laughs>
because this is a very this is brain work. Can you be clear? I want support our Olympics. So I think I want to be clear. Okay. Okay. So, at the, so at the count of five. <laughs> so at the count of five, we will now cut the case. So let's give, let's count from five. Let's go. One to go. Five, four. Can you call me, sir? Yeah, yeah. Your nose marks. No, 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 Yes. 
Let us give the good press.
Let go to the family. Let me start by the Sorry, what Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, This is from us. <laughs>
And now you are like the Christ that she as well. I think after my incident, everybody said, Look, if you think I go, think he has said. Then there's somebody who can just make sure that she behaves well. And that's how Larry came to sit inside okay. my office. And in addition to doing his work, that he was being paid for us, so that he could be rich. And um, sitting beside me is my sister. I don't think I can ever repay her. Especially almost all the time, anytime I need them, especially puts her life on hold. So I can't begin to describe the fact one lady that I like is not there. You have only one sister. I said no. <laughs> I said no, but you know, when someone has to be there for me. Uh, the fact that I'm going to have a on my head today is also time to be asked. Mm -hmm. That children always have someone to look after them when I'm not there, it's time to be She's just been there. But it was so bad when I was in the park. And one day I wasn't in the office and my MD was walking back. I saw her. And he was a bit confused because none of us. So I came again and
Even the plus of man. <laughs> he won't back. Can you carry? Thank you. 
choose the love that you have, the respect that you have. You know, the Papa Janai really is coming to the next time. So, GM and uh, our big manager dashing in and out to, to join meetings. You know, we have to give every other thing to you. You all also left all the other competition schedule here just so that we can follow and comment. Thank you so much. Uh, so thank you to your sister for giving that strong feel of support. We're not going to miss you because of the secret. Personally, I am sure. Thank you for everything. I mean, the Lord brought you to our lives, also open fresh doors for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The only day I met and they are not going to get back. It's all I know. No,